Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I, Keshwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the GRE. We have been solving GRE math problems out of this book here, the official guide to the revised GRE, the second edition. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. We have finished doing almost all the problems from this book. If there is any problem at all that gives you trouble, and if you wish to watch the solution to the problem, you will find the solutions to all the problems from day number 251 through 400. From day 251 through 400. This book happens to contain almost all the same problems, and in vast majority of the cases, appearing on exactly the same page numbers as the ones that appeared in the first edition of the revised GRE. We are finished doing all the problems from this book. In the event that you are interested in watching the original solutions to the problems, you will find the original solutions from day number 1 through 250. Original solutions tend to be a little lengthier, they tend to be a little bit more in depth. Right now, we are in the process of solving some quantitative comparison question. Quantitative comparison question, as you know, are a very important part of the exam. They are still a big chunk of the exam. Unfortunately, unfortunately for us, the revised GRE books that I just showed you do not provide enough quantity to comparison questions for us to practice on. For that reason, beginning with day number 401, we started doing problems from this book here, the 10th edition of the general GRE. Right now, we are on page number 291. Please turn to it. Page number 291, problem number 14. Problem number 14, the penultimate problem. The Penultimate problem on the page, the second to the last problem on the page. While we are talking about penultimate and while we are at the vocabulary, yesterday, in our last video, this word cropped up in the, in the lecture, the nub. What, what, what we said was, the nub of the problem was, and then we went on to explain what the nub of the, nub of the problem was. What does nub mean? N-U-B, nub. Nub means the essence, the main idea, the core of the problem. And we learned this word, as, as it says right there, I don't have to look it up, it says right there. We learned that word in our vocabulary lesson on day number 11. If you are interested in improving your vocabulary, just type in GRE vocabulary words, GRE vocabulary words, day number 11, and you will learn this word along with some other good words uh, that will help you get a better score in the English portion of the exam. Penultimate is the word that we learned, I believe, on page day number 27, if I'm not mistaken. Give me one second and I'll find, we'll find out. No, nope, that is also day number 11. An ultimate is also on day number 11. So, if you watch that video, you will learn both of them. Here we go, problem number 14. The second to the last problem, we are given a triangle that looks something like this. We are given a triangle that looks something like this. We are told that this is a right angle. We are told that this is 45 degrees. And we are told that this side is 10. This side right here we are told is 10. And this is a right angle. In other words, this is a hypotenuse. Is there anything else we are told? That's it. That's all that is given here. What we are being asked to compare. This is problem number 14. Problem number 14. When it appeared in the real exam. When it appeared in the real exam. Only third of the people got it right. Two thirds of the people missed it. What we are being asked to compare is, in column A, we have the area of, of the triangle, or as they put it, the area of the triangular region is how they put it, the area of the triangular region. Instead of making a sober balls and so nerdy, let's give this triangle a name, let's call it A, B, C. Area of the triangle A, B, C versus column B, which is 25. Area of the triangle, area of the triangle ABC versus 25. I'll, I'll, I'll be quiet now. I'll give you five seconds to pause and unpause the video. What I want you to do is pause the video at this point, solve the problem yourself, and once, you, once you're done solving it yourself, then continue the video, resume the video, and then compare your work against the work that we that we'll do together in a few seconds. Do you understand? I'll give you a few seconds to pause and unpause. Okay, here we go. First thing first, we are told that this is 90 degrees. We are also told that this is 45. 
Well, if this is 45 and this is 90, then 45 and 90, the only thing that is left here, because they have to add up to 180, if this is 90, then these two have to add up to 90. And if this is 45, which means this angle must also be 45, even though they do not tell us that. In other words, what we just found out, what we just established is that the triangle in question, the triangle ABC, is in fact an isosceles triangle, AC equals BC. Now the next question is, how do we, how do we go about finding the area of a triangle? The area of a triangle is one half, one half base times height, one half base times height, one half base, which is A to C, times height, which is B to C. But A to C is same as B to C because these two sides are equal because this is 45 degrees, this is 45 degrees. So let's call this X. If this is X, then this is X. In other words, it is X times X. In other words, this is X squared over 2 is what we're looking at here. X squared over 2 is what we're looking at here. That's what it boils down to. X squared over 2. The question is, how do we go about finding the value of X? Well, that's also very straightforward. That is also very straightforward. Simple application of Pythagorean theorem, a very simple application of Pythagorean theorem, will enable us to find out the value of X. Why? Because this is a right angle triangle. This is a right angle right here, which means x squared plus x squared has to equal 10 squared. Simple, uh, simple application of Pythagorean theorem tells us. Simple application of Pythagorean theorem tells us. Let's, let's erase this thing so I can continue here. x squared plus x squared has to equal 10 squared. Right here, x squared plus x squared has to equal 10 squared. x squared plus x squared has to equal 10 squared, which means 2x squared equals 100, which means x squared equals 50. We are done. That's it. We found out that the area, area of the triangle is x squared over 2. Area of this thing is x squared over 2. Area of this guy is x squared over 2. We just found out that x squared is 50. So it's 50 over 2, which is same as 25. The answer is C. The answer is C. That's all. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.